Now, suppose I want to create a bit of a sequence in this course. You can't do the mythology quiz until you've done the previous assignment, contributed two questions. This is a three-step process, making one item dependent on the other. First of all, you've got to go up to your course level, edit settings for the course, and check something called completion tracking. Make sure that is on. The little blue icon tells you, explains it. Okay, so I can have completion tracking in this course. Back at my item. I gotta set a completion requirements for the the trigger item, the contribute two questions, my assignment. So I go into settings and I say, consider this complete. No, they can't just give themselves a check mark. They have to meet certain conditions as in they must submit the activity. I don't have to have graded it, but they have to submit it. Okay, save. Now, in mythology quiz, this is the item that you can't do until this is extra restrictions on attempt. No, it's not. It's restrict access. Add a restriction. It's an activity completion. So the students must have completed the activity called, oh dear, what was it called? It was contribute two questions to mythology must be marked complete. Uh, save. Don't, that's for adding the first restriction. I know it's confusing. That's why I'm doing the tutorial on it. Okay, so this is not available unless you have done the previous uh, activity. Let's go see what this looks like as a student. Switch role to student. It's grayed out. I can't do it because I have not done the previous activity. So that is making one item dependent on something else in the course.